Welcome to this special edition of Hannity. I'm Judge Janine Pirro, in tonight for Sean. And tonight, with just 67 days until the election, Kamala Harris finally sat down for her very first TV interview of the campaign. With CNN, a so-called news network, all but rooting for Harris to win the election. Kamala was also joined by her running mate. He was apparently there for emotional support. And still, from what we've seen so far, the interview did not go well. Watch this. Dana, I think the, the, the most important and most significant aspect of my policy perspective and decisions is my values have not changed. You mentioned the Green New Deal. I have always believed, and I have worked on it, that the climate crisis is real, that it is an urgent matter to which we should apply metrics that include holding ourselves to deadlines around time. We did that with the Inflation Reduction Act. We have set goals for the United States of America and, by extension, the globe around when we should meet certain standards for reduction of greenhouse gas emissions, as an example. That value has not changed. My value around what we need to do to secure our border, that value has not changed. I spent two terms as the attorney general of California prosecuting transnational criminal organizations, violations of American laws regarding the passage, illegal passage of guns, drugs, and human beings across our border. My values have not changed. The important takeaway from that rambling answer, Kamala's values haven't changed. She even discussed the Green New Deal, which she co-sponsored in the Senate. So let's be clear about what the Green New Deal really is. Now, this truly insane piece of legislation simply calls on capitalism to be replaced with socialism in order to save the planet from climate change. It calls for an end to all fossil fuels, no more oil, no more gas, no more gas stoves. So, according to a CNN summary, it also tries to phase out cattle production in the United States, at least as much as is, quote, feasible. Eventually, no more cows, no more steak, no more burgers. It mandates renovations for every single building and home in the United States that is not sufficiently energy efficient. It calls for a government-guaranteed job, government-guaranteed food, and government-guaranteed housing for every resident of the United States, legal and illegal. It also calls on the government to take over the energy industry and parts of the financial industry similar to what happened in Venezuela, Cuba, and the Soviet Union. This is full-blown, eating out of dumpsters, delivering babies on the street, socialism. So Trump's new nickname for the vice president seems particularly fitting. Take a listen. I'm here today with a simple message for the American auto worker and for the American worker. Your long economic nightmare will very soon be over. It's going to be over. But to turn it around. With your vote, we will defeat comrade Kamala Harris. And we will bring back the American dream, bigger, better, stronger, and just better, bigger, better. We love the American dream. You don't hear about the American dream. When was the last time you heard about the American dream? They don't talk about it, although they copy everything else I do, so I guess that'll be nice. They'll be copying. They'll be saying, oh, the American dream. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.